freedom, justice, and equality to my people, the so-called American Negro. He's so-called because that he is not really a Negro anymore. He has been found, and his true name, his true identity, his true nation, and his membership to that nation is now known and is now being connected. The American so-called Negro, the Bible's lost and found sheep, the members of the black nation, the original nation of the planet Earth, the first people of the Earth. And from these people, the black people, came all other colors, namely brown, yellow, red, and white. But the black man is the number one original man of the earth. He is not one that has been created by another, but are absolutely self-created. There is no birth record to the black man. There is no prophesy in no scripture of books that prophesy the end of the black nation. There is no such thing as an end to them. It cannot be brought about. It's impossible to bring an end to the black man unless you are able to bring an end to the whole entire universe according to the teachings of Almighty God Allah to me. It can't be done. It was attempted according to the Almighty God teachings to me around 66 trillion years ago. And that was a black man who attempted to do such things because that he was not able to do with the people what he wanted to do with them. Therefore, he decided on destroying them and the whole entire planet Earth, but was unable because the black man is just that kind of a people, a man, I should say, and the original God, the scientist of the original nation, the black man, are far too smart to allow anyone to exterminate them out of, out of the universe. He also has other people. He has several worlds, seven inhabited worlds who also joins in with him to help keep and maintain his sovereign over the universe. These uh, secrets concerning the God, the real God, the true God, which was prophesied by the prophets of old to appear or come at the end of this world. As you and I know, the God of this world that you and I has lived under and has known is the devil and not the God of truth, not the God of justice, not the God of righteous, not the God of truth, not the God of holiness, mercy, and not the God who created the heavens and the earth, 
but rather a God who has been entrusted with the authorities to rule the original people of the earth for a limited time of 6,000 years. To try this God, this new God, the devil, to try him at ruling, and also to try or experiment on actually the powers that was lying dominant in the black man before ever 6,000 years ago, or uh, I would say since the creation of the universe. This particular power has been lying dominant in the black nation, but they never did use it because the uh, original scientists them, uh, the wise, they knew that such was in the man, the original man. But they did not care to try it out because that they knew what it would do. It would harm the original man and also harm his absolute progress. Therefore, they reject it. As you find it in the Bible, in a Genesis, where that, uh, uh, when it comes to making man, the God there says, let us make man. The let us make man means other people who were with the uh, God who had originated the idea of making man. Therefore, uh, after originating the idea of making a man or another a man, a human being, altogether different from the original human being, he asked for cooperation. He asked for help. And uh, the original people... The wise scientists at that time rejected and, <clears throat> and refused to cooperate with him for a time. And the Holy Quran in uh, <clears throat> chapter 7 and 15 and many other places you will find in the Holy Quran the mention of this creation of a man, uh, a devil to rule, the original people of the earth, and that uh, the time was limited for his rule, and those who were asked, or uh, rather was uh, <coughs> told of what the God was about to do who would create a new man, a new civilization on the planet Earth, said to him, what will you make other than that which will <coughs> make mischief in the land and cause bloodshed? The answer from the God or the Maker of the new civilization of evil and unrighteousness. He says that I know what you do not know. This particular uh, secret that he had within him, so says God to me, was that uh, he knew how bring the man in existence, and he knew how to make him to rule. He had the knowledge, the wisdom, to do just that, to create a man, put him on the planet, and teach him a superior uh, wisdom of tricks 
above the original people of the earth. And that his particular man that he would make would not be able uh, to rule after his superior arrived, but until another God, superior to the evil God that created the evil uh, world or civilization, comes, then this evil world would rule the original world until such time that the original nation would be able to produce a God equal in wisdom or superior, rather I should say, than the God who created this world. Therefore, <clears throat> we have it in the prophecy of the book that God will come, not that God uh, of righteous goodness and mercy existed at that time, but will come after the rule of the evil God, the devil. But the God of goodness, mercy, and truth, justice, and equal will not appear until uh, the God of injustice and evil has served his time. Then at the end of his time, then this God prophesied by the original scientist that will come, will appear. He will not take one day away from the God of this world, the evil world, that belong to them, he even will grant to them an extension of time to try them at repenting, or rather to prove to the world of the righteous that he was just and true God, and he obtained mercy, and as or rather, his very nature is of mercy and truth, justice, equality. But uh, to uh, let the world know how wise he is and how uh, merciful he is, as the Holy One teaches us, that his mercy uh, in Pass everything. The whole entire universe is mercy, compass everything. As it reads that Allah, mercy, or rather my mercy, encompasses all things, even though you may be his enemy knowing that he has the power to remove you from the earth, out of the universe, at his will, he gives you a chance. In fact, about it, all the chance to recognize his power and authorities to rule you and take you off the planet earth. But I say, these particular <coughs> power that exist before <coughs> ever the creation of this world, the present civilization have had a very poor knowledge of that power. Because in the, the teachings, of this civilization, this particular uh, power, authorities of the God of righteous and truth, was taught in such way not to convert people to that particular power, but to convert people to <laughs> the powers of this world, the world of evil, by using 
the name of the righteous God and the old wise and powerful one and his prophets to deceive the people to follow and practice evil instead of good. What will you make, says the righteous scientist, when they <coughs> discovered the idea of the God of evil to create an evil <laughs> people, a civilization upon the earth, and to put them over the righteous? and then force the righteous to submit to a, a rule of evil, live under that for 6,000 years. This is known today. The old wise, the best knower, whose proper name is Allah, and who was prophesied to come in his come, the great Medi, the great Allah, the one God who have not any associates in the kingdom. He's self-independent. He <coughs> does what he wills, and what he wills comes to pass. Only his word is be when he desires. Thane and there it is. This God did not appear before today for, <coughs> for the last 6,000 years. For he would have interfered the success or progress of the evil world in going and living, practicing, and forcing their wicked ways upon the world of righteous. So, it has come to pass today, and your eyes, ears, and my eyes and ears, that God Almighty himself is present to change the world of evil into a world of righteousness, to destroy the ruling powers of evil and <coughs> establish a righteous government and to set upon the earth that which was originally here a government of righteous justice and equity. This <coughs> today is now gradually being uh, brought about uh, the birth of it is taking place. As uh, you notice in the Daniel's prophecy concerning the last days of the wicked world, he prophesied that by the increase of his government, referring to the God of truth and righteousness and justice, there will be no end. Once we have experimented with a thing and found, uh, find that it don't work to our satisfaction, then we discard that thing. And we try that then which we know will work. So the world that you and I has been living in for the last 6,000 years were a world of experiment mental purpose to try the nation of righteous under such an evil world and to give the evil a chance at ruling the righteous and this chance would also try the righteous and bring out of the righteous his righteousness and out of the righteousness his evil. The righteous is made manifest under such uh, test or trial. 
as we know. Today, we find it everywhere. The evil always is at war with right. And today, it has come <clears throat> to pass in your life, in my life, that righteousness now is after evil and is determined to get the upper hand and remove it once and forever from having the authorities and power to rule the nation of righteousness. These things you must learn, my friend. You must know these things. You must know the truth of these things before ever that you can make a choice in what you will accept or to whom will you bow into submission to be your God. There will only be one choice to make in the hereafter, that is, one God. There will not be no two gods to choose to serve. As you find in the Christian world today, they produce a trinity of God, i.e. three gods, which is actually contrary to even mathematics, and mathematics is the most truest language we have. We don't have anything any truer than mathematics. Now, <clears throat> this is contrary to mathematics to try to put uh, three in <clears throat> to one. But one, uh, according to the law of mathematics, go into three three times, but not three into one three times. We must remember that uh, today is the great manifestation of the truth. It is the time in which that uh, we must know that which was hidden, that which was not revealed to the uh, average uh, mine a person for the last 6,000 years due to uh, the evil God sitting in authorities over the righteous. Therefore, real uh, sound truth concerning the God and who is God and just uh, his power to do his will was not actually known to the people in the way that it should have been known for the last 6,000 years. But now today, the God of righteous truth and justice is making himself manifest. We have had, uh, and you and I have read it in the history, if history is true and that uh, we know Many of the histories that we have read was true, or is true. That uh, <clears throat> today <clears throat> we know that uh, there is been on this earth the worship of many different kinds of gods. And there are uh, people today that are still worshiping other than the true God of righteous and justice. This is the uh, real reason that he must make himself manifest to the people of earth that they may know who is the true God to worship. But for the last 6,000 years under the world of evil, are the God of evil and his forces and tricks and deceiving uh, the people of the true God and of the uh, true religion of God and the true way of worshiping God. 
this has uh, <clears throat> been uh, kept back and was not in force because of the time of the God of righteous and the nation of righteous given uh, the evil God and his people a chance to try the righteous. Therefore, uh, the people worship everything. And today they must be <coughs> told and must be guided to the God of truth and righteousness who will rule the people of the earth. And there will never be any other God or any other rule established on the planet earth for the people. <laughs> but that one God, he will always live with the people. There will never be anything like destroying his power or his rule that he set up for the people for billions and trillion years to come. As far as man can, <coughs> can peep through to tomorrow, he sees no end to the government of so today my beloved we have with us this God the God of freedom justice and equality to make himself manifest to the people of earth that he is God and besides him there is no other God and he and his people must bring to a lot the powers of evil and release the nation of righteous from under that power and uh, put them free on the road of <coughs> freedom, justice, and equality that they may live the life of the righteous and serve the God of truth and justice. The so-called American Negro are members of that God, God people and he is after the American so-called Negro. And the uh, so-called American Negro must know and uh, come into the knowledge that he is after him and desires to take him again into the nation of righteous. Pardon the, uh, the so-called Negro of all the sins that he committed in the world of sin, if he only will return to his nation of righteous. This is a very glorious time for the man called the so-called American Negro, who desires to live under a government of <coughs> peace, freedom, justice, and equality, a nation of righteous with the God of righteous at the head and rule of the people. They have a better chance than anyone else. This particular man, I say, should wake up and take hold of such glorious opportunity as we see today and hear the thunder of war everywhere. And knowing this to be a prediction made by the prophets of all, that such thing will come in our day and time that we are now living in, 6,000 years from the time of the creation of this world. So I said to you, as we are now living in the end, and you hear the voice of your God <laughs> calling you to come and to accept you on, which is your <coughs> God of righteous, your people of righteous, the name of righteous and the doing of righteous 
and your place on the earth which belongs to the righteous and the God of righteous will give you a place on it to live throughout eternity. I say unto you, my beloved people that is listening, make up your mind and make it up quick to join on to your own kind and to your God and my God. As I say unto you in the Arab language, which means peace, I salam alaikum.